I'm excited to be back at Amon's Indian Bistro. I've only been here once before, but I had such a great time. The last time I was here, I knew I'd be filming here again. Now, their buffets only open on Wednesdays and Sundays. I was able to time this one right. I'm so excited. Let's go. I already got a bunch of plates off the buffet, and the first one will start with Chana Sag and Dal Makani. So good. Yeah, there's a little bit of spice in this one, for sure, but it's not too hot. My favorite thing about eating here is they give you all this long bread, so you can really clean your plate good. That naan bread really comes in handy. I'm going to put that to the test. I'm not going to let anything go to waste today. That was really delicious. This plate is all vegetarian. We have vegetable noodles. We have vegetable pakora, which is the uh, ball-shaped ones, and vegetable samosa, which are the triangles. This is vegetable pakora, which is vegetables dipped in spiced garbanzo batter and deep fried. Uh, this is very neat for most buffets. Thank you. There is not something I would not eat. The food is so delicious here. The pakora was delicious. On to the vegetable samosa, which is a crispy pastry filled with mildly spiced potatoes and peas. I'm usually a meat eater, but I can eat these all day. Remember last time I really enjoyed these noodles? This is a good day for me. I know you're thinking, why is he going on about these noodles? But I'm telling you, the way they flavor them, they are delicious. These noodles do have a little bit of spice to them. That's what makes them so good. After that vegetarian plate, we're going to move into an all chicken plate. One of my absolute favorite chili chicken, as well as chicken tikka masala. Chili chicken, the balls, oh, they were tremendous last time. Just as good as I remember them. At this point, I regret only getting about 15 pieces of chili chicken. I wish I got about 50. This is so good. It's a little bit of spice, uh, but it takes a while to build. You've seen I've already eaten a bunch of these. This is my second chicken rice plate. This is the chicken tikka masala, which is chicken cubes boiled in tandoor, cooked in a mild tomato and onion cream sauce. I'd like to say this is my favorite so far. No doubt. I'm going to finish off this dish and soak up every ounce of this sauce with the naan bread. It is so good. You absolutely have to try this if you come. You can't waste any of this stuff. This plate has tandoori chicken, that's the chicken on the bone, and paneer kalamich, which is shredded cottage cheese and black pepper sauce. I almost never eat cottage cheese, but between that and the pepper sauce that it's in, fantastic. Finally, I got to the tandoori chicken. I love this the last time I was here. It's chicken marinated in yogurt with herbs and spices, and it's totally different than any chicken I've ever had before. Meat in the bone chicken is definitely more work and not the preferred way to eat. I prefer not to mess with bones. I always feel there's more flavor to it somehow. I don't know if it's just me. But... It almost seems the way they marinated here, the flavors infused into the chicken meat, as opposed to just being on the chicken meat. Some fresh fruit winds up a successful first round at the buffet. Just got a little bit, kind of a palate cleanser. If you follow my videos, you know I'm thinking about what to get next. Time for round two. And the battle continues. More of my favorites here. And actually, everything's really good. You see, I mean, the vegetarian stuff, meat stuff, cake or whatever. I have some more vegetable noodles and vegetable samosa. I really wish I'd been in a samosa eating contest at some point because it tastes so good and goes down so easy. I know I could eat a ton of these. Noodles. It sounds like a simple dish, just noodles, but it's full with vegetables and so much flavor to this. There he goes on about the noodles again. I'm telling you, they're that good. Of course, I got more chili chicken, but I 
also got chicken biryani, which is the most popular item in the restaurant. It's chicken prepared with basmati rice that's flavored with saffron and delicate spices. I didn't get any of the chicken because I didn't want to mess with the bones. But I enjoy the rice so much, but the flavoring is so good. Always enjoy spicy food. And this definitely has some kick to it. It's not a knock you over. It's a spice with flavor, which is, to be honest with you, so rare in American food. I think this is the main reason I'm finding Indian food so enjoyable, is that spice is there with flavor. It's there for a reason. It's not just there to make it hot. Again, this is the chili chicken. I think the chicken biryani is hotter than the chili chicken, but it's really hard to say since I'm eating the food so quickly. I might have already had 20 of these. It still tastes just as good. Whenever I can eat this much of an item and the food still tastes good, I must really be enjoying myself. But who am I kidding? When's the last time I didn't enjoy myself at a buffet? Got some more of those lentils. And that really good tandoori chicken. It's more the chicken. This is typically bone in. They do have a couple of pieces up there that didn't have bone. That's happy to get those. That is my signature move at a buffet. If any meat falls off a bone, like say ribs, I'm definitely getting that meat versus the meat on the bone. It's just so much easier. Maybe the spice is starting to catch up with me a little bit. I'm starting to break a sweat in my forehead. But it's all good. I still have a big smile. On to the lentils. I need to get through these lentils pretty fast because the buffet is closing. I have one more shot to get some food. Let's go. It should be illegal to leave that much on this plate. It is so good. You see that I'm breaking a sweat now. Almost 2.30 and the buffet ends at 2.30. So we have one last quick, uh, one last go through. This is the last round, a quick round of my absolute favorite things here. It's hard to pick, but these are my top two. The chili chicken and the base of the chicken biryani. This is always a tough time for me. The buffet is closing for the day. Uh, when you guys love food as much as I do, this is a sad moment. You can see how happy I am right now. That food was fantastic. That was a Mons Indian buffet. If you're new to Indian food, this is the perfect place for you. You get to try tons of different food. Not only that, the food is fantastic, fresh. The service is awesome. It's quite a good experience. It's something totally different than American food. There's so much spice and flavor in all these dishes. Even right down to the rice. Thanks for coming to another video. I'll see you guys again soon.